Hey guys, this is Devor from Tennis House. I want to cover an important topic, what so many people want me to do, and they all want this one thing is they want more power on their shots. <laughs> all right, so if you like what we do, subscribe, turn the notifications button on as always, guys. If you have five minutes, watch this video. You will increase your power by a couple of miles, miles per hour for sure. And let's get straight to it. Power. Power is the first thing people want. Look, if that's what you want, guys, you get this video. But let me explain one thing before I start, please. So the first thing you should have in mind, no matter what level you are, and that's what I like to explain, the first thing is consistency. So if you're a player, you have to ask yourself first, am I consistent enough? Why am I losing? Do I hit the balls in or not? If you got this off your checklist, guys, the consistency, then... You're going to talk about directionals, directions. Do I move my opponent? I'm still losing. I'm consistent. Do I, still, do I move my opponent around? And if your answer is yes and you move them well around and you're still losing, then you did the consistency right, you did the directions right, then you have to ask yourself, oh, okay, I see I hit every ball short. That might be it. So the depth, the third thing is the depth. So then you start to hit deeper, but you're still losing. So you're like, why? Why is it? I'm consistent. I move. I have great directions. Um, I hit the balls deep. Maybe I have to change my spins. So you try to change to hit a slice. You hit a high top spin. You hit a flat ball. Doesn't work. And then, of those, the next thing, number five, that's the speed. Then you increase, increase the pace. So I will do this video for you, but I want you to know that the pace is the five and those five pillars. It's the last piece of the puzzle. We all want something spectacular, but the consistency is what makes a difference with everything. All right, let's get to it. So how do I create more pace? So um, obviously a lot of things. So let, let me start with the first thing I need you to do. You need to be loose, but you not need to be loose holding a racket loose and hit. You just need to be loose to keep the flow of the shot and not restricting it. So, um, you know, especially men that come to lessons, you know, we have like strong guys and they want to crush the ball. Power comes from being loose in the right moment. So when the ball comes, I need to be loose. At the same time, you're obviously still holding your racket, but you're loose because then you can let that racket flow. And how I determine what I like to do with my players is um, when you hit the ball and you can hear the swoosh sound. So when you really stiff and squeeze the racket, you're not loose and you swing, you're not going to hear anything. But if you lose and you swing, you're going to hear this, that smooth swoosh sound. So you go and let it go. And that's, that's a great exercise. You can shadow that because it's very important. Only time you can hit the ball fast is when you are loose. So the next thing is power comes from the right timing of things. So you need to coil your upper body. So you're pre-stretching and you need to load your legs. So that, let's say the second thing is the coil in the upper body. If you time the coil and the being loose and letting go, you're going to have a massive shot. So it's the timing between coil and uncoil. Coil, uncoil. So you cannot have a fast shot if you stand here and hit like this with your body open and you go and hit out of the arm. So you only get power if the timing of the coil and uncoil is correct. And the third thing, and stay with me still because you want to know that one, is the loading. So when the ball bounces kind of, you are in this position with the where you bend your knees, you're loading, and as soon as the ball comes up, is where you flip, I call this section, the flipping the racket, and the extending the, and the knees and snapping the hip in. So when you start to snap your hip, extend your knees, the arm is right after, it comes right after that, it's a byproduct of that, and then you're gonna create power. So it's the loading, the coiling, being loose, and letting all that go at the right moment. And one more important thing is, please just start hitting faster when you will really feel consistent with your shots. You can play, practice obviously that. And as I said, you, it's, it's, it's a mixture between the loading, the being loose and the coiling. If you get those three things down, you're gonna be amazing. And as I said, shadow first,
Then start with the coil. And I'll give you one more tip for the coil. Hold the racket straight in front of you, shoulder width apart, your legs, and just rotate your upper body against the lower body. So you're gonna feel a stretch in the muscles and you're gonna feel what the coil means. And then you do the same thing. You tell your player to hold a racket and do the same thing on both sides. So that's how I always start my players to feel comfortable with, with the loading. Obviously at the beginning, they're gonna spray balls and that's because they're open too early up and there are many factors. But what I want you to try the next time when you go on the court is that you lose, that doesn't mean you hold everything too loose, that just like you lose, you're in, a, you're in the flow mode. And then you, you're setting up and coil and shoot from the legs out and let the record go. You will have more power. Will you be able to hit it in? That's a different question. So that determines like how many hours you spend in practice, how, more, how much more you're consistent you get on the court with the pace. So it's all up to you in the end. But I can guarantee you're going to hit the ball faster. So if that's what you wanted, guys. This video was for you. And um, I hope that you like what we do. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. This was the War from Tennis House.